Hello and welcome my friends. Welcome to another exciting unboxing episode. This time I have for you two interesting interesting fountain pens. This pack cost me 525 lays, so approximately 106.06 euros or 120.25 American dollars and it contains two writing instruments of course I will tell you the price for each of them and now without uh, further delay let's start the actual unboxing so I have here my celluloid look at this beautiful celluloid pocket knife it has a small, small blade, and let me start to unpack this small, small little box. Of course, on the other side is the address, so I will try to show it to hide it from the camera it has something here okay okay nice so this was the important stuff let's peel out the address okay oh quite quite a nice little box uh, i'm glad that i didn't tear it apart it's from a leather wallet, I presume. Let me see. Leather. Okay. A leather product. Okay. Let me see now. So, I will try to, to reuse this box. Okay. So, I will peel off gently. Okay, this is a big material. Okay. Hmm. There's a small corner here. Okay, I've managed to peel it off. And now the last part. Hmm. Okay. This part from here. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, now. That was the box. And now for the last part. Yes, I think I will gently try to And guys, I have a bit of surprise for you one of the fountain pens it's in its original box so as you can see i have here a faber castell full halter which means in german fountain pen the name of the model progress someone tried to to leave a mark on it A.W. Faber-Castell Full Halter Fabric 
in Dosenheim bei Heidelberg, so I believe this is the town in Germany where the Faber Castle fa fabric was located. Okay, this is the box, guys. And now gently I'm going to open it. Oh, interesting, here we have 5576 Malaku. I believe this is the color MB, the size of the nib. Indeed, it's in this wonderful, wonderful color. Let's leave this aside because this is the Faber Castle, the original Faber Castle in its original box. I don't think this fountain pen was used. You can see the beautiful gold plated trims. A large band here and engraved on it we have Faber Castell and the name of the model progress we have 77 G with a broad nib okay the cap on screws it reveals the beautiful beautiful ink windows i like the metallic part here it's quite interesting also gold plated and guys i believe that judging by the way this semi hooded nib looks i believe it's from the late 60s or early 1970s let me show you the nib it appears yes we have a four and a k a 14 carat nib it is a broad nib quite a generous tip here and of course it is a piston filler i don't know if, if i have an integrated i believe it's integrated yes so it's not a blind cap but an integrated cap it uh, certainly needs a little bit of lubrication and this is the fountain pen in beautiful beautiful condition let me show you also this instructions and uh, let's see if we have them only in German or also uh, English translation. I I think it's only in German, guys. And I'm sorry, my German is quite quite bad. Yes, only in German. Danke. I think. Uh, thank you for purchasing this product. Okay. Langsam uh, open uh, with uh, gentleness or open with ease. Langsam uh, in schnell and langsam. So open with ease. Yes, the first step, the second step, the piston. And now it shows you how to fill it from the bottle of ink. And something about the warranty. So maybe you can uh, translate this. I will certainly do a review of this Faber Castle progress. And in uh, the, that video i will google translate everything i hope uh, it will be all right so it appears that aw faber castle was in stein by nuremberg so close to the town of nuremberg okay this is the logo quite quite nice uh, i don't have a date of manufacturing but uh, it is okay no problem i will leave uh, this aside 
Let's put it gently here. So before I will leave it aside, I must tell you the price. So this was a little bit more expensive than uh, the other one. So I paid for this and its original box, 265 lays. So approximately 53.54 euros or 60.70 American dollars. And for this beautiful, beautiful one here, it resembles a little bit with the celluloid from my pen. I hope that I can, let's bring some light to them. Okay. So let me zoom on them. So this is the material of the fountain pen, uh, of the small pocket knife. And this is the celluloid of the pen, quite, quite nice. So this is the pen. It has some uh, rewriting, uh, sorry, thermically imprinted. We have Column Books Extra 90, Dep. 23247 and the beautiful beautiful nib so we have Columbus 585 extra now I can see a little flaw to this extra fine nib we can see that unfortunately the top of one tine is broken so definitely this will affect its value and I'm disappointed because I paid those money for it and I didn't knew about this flaw so I must be extra careful when I will buy fountain pens from uh, this seller again well it is what it is maybe hmm. Well, I don't like when the fountain pens that I buy are mislabeled or some information is hidden from me. Well, it is what it is, guys. It has this beautiful, beautiful skilly soap type feed. I believe this is a fountain pen from the 1930s. And if I'm not mistaken, it is a button filler, judging by the way. Or maybe not. Let me see what... I have here. Oh, this appears to be a two two parts uh, mechanism. I don't want to break it, so maybe I will leave it alone. Oh, now it opens like this. Quite interesting. Two sides of this. It appears to be a piston filler, guys, of some sort of a piston filler. And I think this is a Italian or maybe maybe because it have depth and when I see depth I think of depots a registered trademark in uh, France but no it's not the France because we have a, a 585 gold nib and not an 18 carat 750 nib so definitely an Italian brand I'm uh, sorry about the nib. Well, uh, this nib, it is a problem, guys. When you see that tipping, which uh, we refer to it as an iridium tip, but not all are made of iridium. But the lesson is that they have a strong alloy that uh, ensures uh, uh, um, uh, quite, quite large life to the nib because it comes in contact with the paper and uh, it is made of a real, real resistant material. And well, that material is, I believe, more expensive than the gold material used on the other parts of the nib 
so when you see a found dump pen or a name that has uh, missing that metal part well it's quite hard to restore it and i searched on the internet and i believe someone in portugal made that um, that uh, service available for fountain pen enthusiasts uh, re-tipping the nib so adding a little bit of that strong material and i believe it was that they were from portugal i have to ask my friend uh, polo um and uh if you're not if, if you don't know who it polo is it has a wonderful ode channel ode objectos the stereographica but you can find him at ode pants he's from portugal maybe he knows something about retipping the nibs if that uh, gentleman or that business that was specialized in the names uh, can still provide uh, us with those services again they are not uh, affordable services and i believe for minimum for a neighbor it uh, charges 100 euros so <laughs> you have to have a real special nib that needs uh, retipping so guys this was my unboxing i'm sorry about this fountain pen well it's not a great loss but for me 52 euros or 60 american dollars is quite quite a large sum of money and uh, yes the pen is in relatively good shape but you know that uh, at least 50 percent of the price of a vintage fountain pen comes just from uh, the nib so i'm sorry that the nib is not in a perfect perfect shape so guys this was my unboxing my latest two fountain pens i have no regrets i bought them at a reasonable price i have to be careful next time and watch with attention the photos sometimes i get uh, over excited but i assure you that in the photos that tipping of the nib uh, wasn't uh, noticeable well you win some you lose some this is my philosophy again i bought them at a decent price so i don't complain uh, it is what it is guys thank you for your time i want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are for those who are new to this channel if you've enjoyed this unboxing of vintage fountain pens and of course if you want to see them reviewed on this channel please subscribe to it you support my activity by subscribing it's just me guys sharing my passion and my love for fountain pens i hope uh, that you learned some interesting new things in this episode i will see you again at the next episode till then please take care of yourself in this hard pandemic time bye bye and god bless